Before starting with any calculation, we first need to generate an analytical model. We will start by selecting a 3D view of our model containing all structural elements. Then we will open Sophistic Analytical Model Generator Wizard. This workflow is divided into three steps. The prepare step allows the running rule-based filters to identify relevant elements for analysis. Revit elements colored in yellow are disabled. By default, all elements are disabled until running the step. By clicking the checkbox, you can turn on and off the visualization. Now we will run the prepare step to enable all elements automatically. As you can see, the foundation is left disabled and no analytical element will be generated for it. We can configure how elements are automatically filtered by clicking the gear icon. Then, for example, we will filter out small column cross sections by increasing the minimal threshold and then click A to apply. A pop-up window will open and ask for a name for the new settings we configured. Next, the changes we made in the settings will take effect by clicking Run. We can also enable or disable elements manually by selecting them directly. Enabled fill elements will turn grey. Finally, at this step, we can isolate the disabled or enabled elements by clicking on the appropriate radio button and visualize our selection accordingly. The next step, Generate, is responsible for automatically creating the analytical model. It uses an advanced algorithm with the structural engineer's control in mind. We'll start this step by clicking Open. In case we already modified the configuration, we can load it from here or simply continue with the default one. By clicking Run, the analytical model will be generated automatically according to our settings. Similar to the previous step, we can select what to visualize. Either a transparent physical model or an analytical model are available for us to choose from. Now we can check out the generated model and see if it satisfies us. In case the default configuration is insufficient, we'll click the gear icon to enter the relevant setting menu and configure it to our needs. For this example, let's try prioritizing the floor edges to be as accurate as possible to the physical floor layout. By also limiting the movement of floor edges, we almost lock them to the right place. By clicking OK and rerunning this step, I expect the analytical floor area to be more accurate. Let's switch to top view to see the changes better. We'll double check that the right configuration is selected and click Run. You can now see the changes in the corners. That was an example of configuring the Analytical Element Alignment tab. In our next example, we will configure the minimum opening size to consider. This setting is available in the Geometry tab. We need to increase this threshold to ignore small openings in the analytical model. We will run the Generate step again and witness the changes immediately. OK, that's it. Here is our uh, final model. In the last step of the AMG workflow, we will check the analytical model's integrity. There are two tests available, a coordination check and an analytical quality check. We'll enable both and run the check. Like in previous steps, we can visualize the results, but this time we also have a report. For every coordination issue between physical and analytical elements, we can see information about the element ID, the category, and what is the issue with a detailed description. Next, we can select, show or isolate the appropriate elements by clicking on the buttons or by enabling the instant actions on the right. By checking these, each time we move a line, the view will be updated instantly. 
To fix this material uh, matching issue, we'll isolate the two elements and check their parameters. First, let's see what material is defined for the physical floor. So, concrete, cast in play, grey is selected. Now, the analytical panel. We indeed see a different material. We'll match it and try running the check again. To view the whole model, we will reset the isolation. Next, we'll run the step again to update the report. We can see that one issue is removed. After resolving all issues AMG marked for us, we can go ahead and save the view and use it for the further steps of analysis with Sophistic.